Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again today. My name is Justin Jones and with Circle J Fab and this morning we're going to be cooking some uh, breakfast on a 30 inch fire pit. Now this fire pit right here is one of our more popular sellers. It's got an angle iron grill top ring, reinforced grill top, and this top will swivel all the way around. Now one thing that you'll notice that most pits don't have is this removable bean pot holder. This guy is great. Whether I'm hanging and cooking my coffee on it for the morning or just letting my tools hang out while I'm cooking, it is an excellent accessory to add to any fire pit. All right, folks, it's about seven in the morning here, so we're gonna start with a little breakfast. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some ranch-styled scrambled eggs with some fresh pico, jalapenos, and we're gonna do some little fingerling potatoes to just kind of give you a nice little side. All right, now for that, pretty simple, real simple. You've got some eggs, some tomatoes, some cilantro, some onion, a little salt and pepper, and always a little butter. All right guys, we're gonna start with our potatoes. Now these, pretty small, so all you need to do is take them and cut them in half. In half, you're gonna get a good pile of them and then we're just gonna put a little salt and pepper and start them in the pan before we do the eggs. Okay, what we've got is we've got an 18 inch grill pan. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure it's kinda getting good and hot. You want that sizzle and you want that crisp on the outside of your potatoes. So we're just gonna add a little butter Get that going around. We're just gonna take the potatoes and add them. Now these potatoes should probably take you about 10 minutes. All right guys, it looks like our potatoes are about done. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and scoot them to the side real quick so we've got room to go ahead and add our eggs. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our little homemade pico, some fresh tomato, and uh, one of my favorites, some poblano peppers. We're just gonna kinda mix that around. All right, time to try it. Mm. That's good. I'm gonna finish this, we're gonna come back, and then I'm gonna go over how to take care of those grill pans. Guys, taking care of these pans are super, super easy. First thing that you wanna do after you're done you want to take a spatula and see if you can get rid of any of that extra little scale or grime of leftover food. After you do that, you're going to treat them just like you would cast iron. You've got them hot, get a little oil on them, wipe them down, and get them dry, and it's good to go for next time. It's real important that you don't want to soap and water these pans in between every use, and then just put it up in the kitchen bring it out next time and you're good to go guys thanks for joining us check back with us before too long we're going to have a whole nother line of videos coming out uh, you can check us out on the web at www.circlejfab.com or you can give us a phone call at the office area code 817-367-3877 and uh, we'll be happy to talk to you about any of the products we have thanks again and we'll see you next time Bye bye